Hello folks, this is 2020 October November paper 1, 3 and the question number is 13. It is concerned with the chapter, uh, let us say, forces, so let us say torque actually, moment. So it says a shelf PQ, a shelf PQ, it is attached to a vertical wall at P, vertical wall at P, so, and supports a book, supports a book, so this is the book here. The shelf is held horizontal by a rigid bar XY. XY is the bar here as shown. The weight of the shelf is WS. So this is WS along the center. That means it is a uniform thing. And the weight of the book is WB. So acting through the center of the book. The bar is at angle theta to the shelf. Theta to the shelf. And exerts a force F on the shelf. So it is acting a force like this in this direction. This is the force. The shelf is in equilibrium, so that means it's at rest right now. So definitely a bookshelf should be at rest, definitely it can't be moving. Uh, what are the magnitudes of the horizontal and the vertical components of the force on the wall, on, uh, on of the wall on the shelf at P? So we have to find the components, uh, horizontal and vertical components of the force of the wall, force of the wall, force of the wall wall uh, on the shelf at p force of the wall uh, wall uh, wall yes on the shelf on the shelf at p so we have to find uh, the forces here so the first thing is the horizontal component is this the horizontal component is this is uh, this force it will be in this direction the horizontal component should be in this direction so it should be should be should be since we have F here, since you have F here, the horizontal component will be somewhat like this. It will be like this. This will be the horizontal component. And it will be, it should be, this angle is a theta, alternate angles. So it should be, it should be, it should be F cos of theta. So since the whole system is in equilibrium, it should be F cos theta. So if it is so, then we can, we can, we can remove, we can remove this choice number C and D. We can remove choice number C and D. So let us cross them. Let us cross them. Then the only remainings are choice number A and B. Choice number A and B. So then, 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 next is we have to find the vertical component. So the vertical component will be this force will have a component this. So this force will have a component this. It will be F sine theta. So since this is theta, it should be F sine theta. Then F sine theta. The next is, it is acting vertically upward. And the next is uh, WS and WB in downward direction. So, total downward will be, will be equal to WS plus WB. And the total upward will be equal to F sine of theta. And they are opposite to each other. So, that means the vertical component should be equal to, should be equal to, uh, should be equal to, uh, WS plus WB F downward minus this FU which is F of sine of theta. So WS plus WB minus F sine theta. So it is it is in choice number choice number B choice number B. So choice number A is also not correct here. So uh, <coughs> though uh, we have been asked uh, about the force here we can take reference from this point because the whole thing is in equilibrium. Had it not been equilibrium, we'd have to go for some different approach. But uh, since it's in equilibrium, uh, we can, uh, we can uh, take the forces here to find the forces here.